And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual. Until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So, other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch. Why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! B b before you go any further, uh, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate, I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. I'm, I'm serious. And so am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Barack Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there's only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being? Your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. It's kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time, after your match, all I heard was BOO! Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So, where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so... 
Maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait. I think I just saw something move. Hello? Are you sure about this? Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. What? Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find The Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, how do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 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 What was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor. Not bad. You're eating it? Um, what the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into the netherworld. It looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. Fine. Hey, wait! Papa Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey, snap out of it. What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear. Okay? Look. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out!
Trey! It's all right, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. Are those fireworks? Weird. That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. Who's gonna help us here? No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. Oh, it's like the 4th of July. Yeah, except I just barbecued cane. I think it worked. Something's coming. How do we know it's a good something? Hey! Help! Wait, is that... Yes! Yes! I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I set out to find the Undertaker, but I'd be happy now to just make it home alive. Step aboard, Skarsgård, and I will do my best to guide you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must delete the Demon of Death Valley that you speak of. Come on. This is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. So are you taking us to the Undertaker? Before you do battle with the man who is dead, you must first encounter the Lady of the Mars. Yes, if you look past her, she will make you obsolete and you will never return to your home dimension. Is there anything else you can tell us about her that would help? She is a creature of darkness, despair, and decay. We have already entered her plane of existence some time ago. How can you tell? It's so dark out here. That's how I can tell. This is as far as Skarsgård can take you, so I must bid you farewell. That's it? What kind of boat ride doesn't have snacks? Do you at least have anything that can help us see where we're going? Only the Lady of the Marsh's luminance will pierce the darkness. There, in the distance, a flickering light. Our passage of time on the ocean of reincarnation was wonderful. I hope your vessels survive the treacherous conditions you now must face. Good evening, calm peers. I should have listened to Paul Heyman and left this alone. I'd be at home on the couch right now watching true crime murder mysteries instead of becoming one. Don't say that. We can do this, whatever this is. That must be the Marsh Lady's cabin. Not great curb appeal. Should we call her out for a fight? Or we could quietly steal the lantern, run for our lives, and try to find a way out of here. I like that plan better. <clears throat> it won't move. It's like some invisible force is holding it there. <laughs> I think she's calling us to go in the cabin. You speak Marsh Lady all of a sudden? <laughs> See? I was right. Oh, turds. You want to play? Play with Nikki. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Ah! What the... Is this about me messing with the lantern? I just wanted to get a closer look. It's a, it's antique, right? Our fun is just getting started. <laughs> Run. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands.
You're okay. Yeah, thanks for the help. Wait, you got the lantern off the hook? Yeah, it just lifted right off. I think you were doing something wrong. Or maybe we had to defeat its source of power to gain access to it. Eh, I still think you were doing it wrong. Well, the lantern doesn't seem to be helping very much. It's still pretty dark out here. Wait, over there through the trees. The light's reflecting off something in the distance. Let's go check it out. Sure, why not? Because we haven't done enough terrifying things yet. It's Undertaker's symbol. We must be close. And look, there's a hook on it, just like the one at the cabin. Maybe we're supposed to hang the lantern there? I really have no idea at this point, but it's worth a shot. Whoa! What are all those lights? Are they eyes? Yep, they're eyes. Evil eyes. I think you summoned him. No, you did. This is your thing, remember? I helped you get this far, but you have to do this on your own now. The Reaper is waiting to drag you through the fires of hell.
We're back. Unless we're dead, and this is heaven. If heaven's a dark, dirty boiler room, I'm going to reassess how I've been living my life. Wait, so did all of that really just happen? I mean, who knows what kind of chemicals we could have been exposed to in here, which would explain some of the stuff I think I saw. What? I think there's our answer. It's Paul Heyman. Answer it! Uh, hey Paul? Hey, don't hey Paul me! I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last hour. My private investigator was there to meet you, and you were nowhere in sight. Private investigator? Wait, so you didn't arrange for Papa Shango to help us find the Undertaker? Papa Shango? No, I didn't arrange for a meeting with Papa Shango. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Hey, do you want expert help, yes or no? Turns out we are no longer in need of his services. Thanks! I, well, look, you at least need to reimburse me for his time. And his hourly rate is not cheap. He is, I assure you, uh, the What's that? So you're breaking up. Sorry! Is it in there? Yep. What are you going to do with it? I figured I'd put it on my living room shelf. You know, as a nice reminder of our trip to hell. Seriously? No. I'm going to use it to call the Undertaker out. I'm guessing he really wants this thing back. Why would you do that? You already beat him. But no one else knows that. If I want to earn the respect, pun intended, of the locker room and WWE universe, then I need to beat him again in front of an audience of actual living human beings. Now that I've had a week to come down off the Shango dust, I'm a little less sure about all this. So just be careful, okay? I will. And who knows, if I can lure him into a match, Maybe it'll be so big my real parents will finally show up. Crazier things have happened this past week. Yeah. Maybe. You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm going to save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, you'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, answer me. What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. At Survivor Series, you will not survive. But you will. Rest in peace. Welcome to Survivor Series, where later tonight we have an epic Hell in a Cell match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. And if facing the feed off wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Well, Trey has a list that helps guide his career. Undertaker has a list too of superstars he's massacred in Hell in a Cell over the years. Tonight, Trey. You have to wonder, what does Trey have to gain in a match like this? While the risk is certainly high, so is the potential upside. 
I know it's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really think I have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. He's got some more fight in him, guys. That Ooh. will get your attention. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on this play. In the lead-up to WrestleMania 34, we had no evidence of The Undertaker making an appearance, and despite desperate attempts by John Cena to bait him, the dead man remained in the darkness until the very last second. What's he got in mind? This is a big risk. Oh, look out! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Recalling WrestleMania 34, Michael, you said The Undertaker waited to the last second. For a long time, we were left to wonder if we had seen the last of The Undertaker in a match. We wondered if John Cena would get away with not only questioning the mystique of the Phenom, but also questioning his manhood. But if his career is taught us anything, it's that the dead man will continue to emerge when we least expect it. Bravado made way for fear rather quickly inside of Cena once he heard that gong echo through New Orleans. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Undertaker starting to look human here. Yeah, he may exit the cell a different man after all this. Legitimacy. I'll admit it, I had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all. 